Hello, I am Olivia and I am the owner of Profits and Books Bookkeeping Service. Thank you so much for watching this video. Well, in today's video, I'm going to talk about financial statements, right? When we read about fraud and corruption, the words that come up is financial statements. There are no financial statements. Financial statements are outstanding. Mm, right. And the question is always, but what are these financial statements if you don't know what it is? So in today's video, I hope to answer that question for you. And here's another scenario that's very common. Close to the financial year end, a business owner will call a bookkeeper to say, I need my financial statements within two days, within a week, because it's my financial year end. A business owner will say, I want to submit to SARS next week. Can you please get me financial statements? Or I want to apply for funding or a loan. Can you please give me financial statements? I need it like yesterday. It's not going to happen. And this is why. <laughs> financial statements. It's not just one document. It's a set of documents. A set of documents that comes from far. Financial statements, it's not a set of documents that you can go into a drawer, open it and take it out. This is why you cannot call a bookkeeper a day or two days before your financial statements are due, actually before your tax returns are due, or two days before your financial year ends, then you want to call a bookkeeper to give you financial statements. Let's take, let's see, what are financial statements? It's your income statement and your balance sheets or your statement of financial position. What the financial statements are, it's in a nutshell to see what do you owe, what do you own, what have you made and did you actually made a profit? What was your expenses? So it gives you an overview of the entire year's transaction. Does that ring a bell? The entire year. So it's you cannot, if you had for 12 months, you never recorded any transactions. You did not have a bookkeeper. You didn't keep a record of the flow of money in your company. Then you cannot expect miracles and expect within two days to be done what you failed to do in an entire year. So the beginning of the financial statements, because everything has a beginning, right? It is when you have or do a transaction. When you buy or sell something and you keep the proof of that transaction. So normally, normally your bookkeeper would be doing that, right? So you get, those are called the source documents. It gets recorded in the journals. You get your different journals the cash book one and then the payment one and then you get your creditors and your debtors journal then you get your petty cash that's just in a nutshell an, an overview of the different journals that you get because what the journals does is put your payments in one place it puts all your receipts in one place your petty cash in one place so it makes sure that things your, your transactions are not scattered all over the place. It's to create order and a system. So now remember, for you to capture the transactions correctly, already things must have been set up so that the transaction can go to the right place. 
if it's a payment to the payment to the uh, like the cash book payment the cbp the cash book payment if it's a receipt then it must go to the cash book receipts if it's for petty cash it must go to petty cash so all these accounts must be created for you to make the correct entry that's only the beginning right so now it you 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 record the transaction from your source documents from the journal to the ledger to the trial balance so your trial balance is an overview for the month of what happened in your business so with your trial balance you can get look at a glance and say oh for the month of april i spent so much on electricity so much on stationery this is what i paid for fuel this is how much my cell phone was this is how much my printing cost was this is how much maintenance and repair was oh this is my sales and if you are selling products this was my cost of sales so your trial balance gives you an overview of your monthly income and expenses it gives you an overview of your debtors your creditors and your assets and liabilities your loans that's in the trial balance and all of this was captured on a daily basis as the transaction happen so can you see now why it's not possible to call a bookkeeper three days or a week before the time and say i need a bookkeeper for my financial statements but you never had a bookkeeper for the whole year that's the process and the next month the process starts all over again it starts all over again every month that needs to be done so basically every transaction it gets recorded then it when it gets recorded for the whole then at the end of the month it will reflect on the trial balance and the trial balance is the summary of your whole month's transactions it's the whole process and then from there when you close your year end from there as you prepare the documents to submit for tax then it's your income statement and your statement of financial position also known as your balance sheet for you to save money when you want a bookkeeper get a bookkeeper on board when your business is still new it will cost you less it will be less stressful and it will be more cost effective then if you've had a business for two or three or four or five or never years and now you need a bookkeeper because suddenly your business is booming and suddenly you realize you need to get things in order it is going to cost you a lot of money to get a bookkeeper to create order if your business has been running for years and you never had a bookkeeper because here's why just think about it say for instance your business is three years old right in three years you never recorded any transactions what you did you kept all your receipts you kept it in a safe place and you told yourself one day i will record this when i had when i have time after three years you realize oh my gosh the one day never came and you never had the time and business is booming business is picking up and now you want to formalize things now what the bookkeeper needs to do is i have to go back from to the beginning of when you started 
and I need to capture and balance things and put things right, create accounts and make the right entries of three years of business. Do you think that's going to happen overnight? Do you think that is going to happen within two years? And on top of it, they will be missing documents. On top of it, you would have forgotten what you did when, where this money went. Because, I mean, some of us, we can't even remember what we did with our money last month. So how can you remember what you did with your money three years ago? So this is why it is so expensive to get a bookkeeper to create order if your business has been up and running for more than one year. Because you need to capture everything unless you have another option. The other option is to scrap and forget all of that and start afresh from the get go. Start from scratch and then it would seem as if your business is new. So these are the two options that you have. But the advice I can get, the moment you start your business, get a bookkeeper. It will save you money, stress and frustration. And it will save you from the hope of expecting miracles from a stranger you got on the internet. So, do the right thing. Get a bookkeeper. There are many to choose from. There's no shortage of good bookkeepers. Find the one that works for you. Find the one that you feel connects with you. Speak to your heart and understand your business. Because bookkeeping, it's not just about capturing things. It's about understanding your business and knowing how things are being managed in your business. So I hope I've answered the question of financial statements and I hope I didn't depress you too much. But just to give you an idea of where it comes from and that it's not some standalone documents that you can just print out, but that there's a whole process involved for you to get and present financial statements. And you know, here's the big thing, here's the great thing. Once your financial statements are in order, life becomes easy. You can breathe and you can relax because at a glance, you can show, hello, this is what I've made for the year and this is how much tax I'm supposed to pay. You don't have to dig and wonder and have sleepless nights. So get the bookkeeper. You know, find one. There's no shortage of bookkeepers. There are so many who will just be too happy to get your business. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, reach out to me, or just get in touch with your questions. And I thank you for watching.